Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, uh, Melody. Hello, Veronica. Good to see you. Same, thanks. All right. Okay, uh, let's wait one or two minutes, okay, so everybody else can log in. Hello, everybody. Good evening. It's good to see all of you. I hope you had a great weekend. Hello, Hello Wilfredo. Tiene mucho ruido ahí a su trasfondo. Okay, very good. So I uh, hope you had a great weekend. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue with our study of the, of the TOEFL, right? Uh, more than the study, what we're doing is we're preparing, right? So I, I hope you guys are learning uh, different things. Uh, let me ask you first, before we begin, where are you in the platform? Okay, I'm, I want you to send me a chat, uh, send me a chat and tell me, where are you in the platform? For example, section three, section four, where are you? 3.2, 3.4. Where are you in the in the platform? Uh, go ahead and send me a message in the chat. Go ahead and send me a, a message if you can. Okay, Juan, uh, you're in section three. Okay, uh, Juan, uh, you have to do the the test, right? Midterm test. Are you finished with the test? Yeah, teacher, for the second one, yes, but uh, I, am, uh, I will start tomorrow to take the test. Okay, uh, Veronica, you're in section three. Uh, Melody, where are you? Hello, Idalia, uh, welcome. I just wanna know where you are in the platform. If you can send me a message, please. Uh, where are you in the platform is the question that I have in the message. I want to know where you are. Okay, we should be, uh, everybody today, we should be going to the speaking section, right? All right, can I tell you uh, where I am in, uh, in the uh, platform? Yes. The and that's what I asked. Okay. Uh, send, it, send it a message, please. Yeah, I was afraid. You mentioned a name. You mentioned a name. That's why I didn't respond to it. Ah, no, no. Uh, in, in the chat. Send, send okay. me a message in the chat. All right. I'll send it to you. Okay. Idalia, you're in section one. You're behind. Okay. You have to catch up. You have to catch up. You are behind. Okay. 
We should be right now in the speaking section, right? You should be finished with the reading and listening section, okay? Uh, more importantly, are you practicing? Are you practicing with the different tests in YouTube? Are you going over the, 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 the videos that we've seen? Are you, are you going over the test strategies? Okay. Yes, teacher. Um, I'm trying to keep practice and all okay. of it. Okay. Now, something important is that you have to continue, not only practicing, right? But also implement the strategies that we learn here, okay? Because it's like this, it's like this, uh, for example, um, imagine that you are running a race, okay? But you don't have the tools to do it. You don't have the knowledge that you don't have the, the right technique, okay? You're not, you can run all day, but if you don't practice the technique, you're not going to improve, okay? The technique for the, our test is everything that we learn for reading, for example, scheming and scamming. We learn main ideas, locating detail questions, uh, summarizing. That was strategy. Esas son estrategias. Eso es lo que verdaderamente nos va a ayudar a ustedes. Solamente practicar es bueno, pero es mejor si practican con estrategias. Okay. Ok, sí, entonces so, si, si van a reading, entonces tienen que implementar skimming and scanning, taking notes, uh, summarizing, uh, supporting details, etc. If you're going to practice listening, ¿cuáles son algunas de las herramientas que aprendimos durante el listening? La semana pasada, ¿qué aprendieron? ¿Alguna estrategia de listening? ¿Qué se les quedó? La semana pasada. You don't remember anything? Okay, por esta razón deberían de estar viendo los videos en YouTube. Okay. Les recomiendo repasar los videos para, por lo menos para la estrategia. Cada, al inicio de cada clase yo tengo una presentación. Okay. Yo paso una hora in, y, y creando, implementando material para esa presentación porque no está en el video, este, en, en la plataforma. Les estoy dando más, les estoy dando más estrategias, más herramientas. Pero ustedes tienen que agarrarlas y practicarlas, implementarlas. Cuando dice estoy practicando, teacher, ajá, pero está implementando las estrategias. Porque si estás practicando, estás practicando simplemente sin estrategias. ¿Ok? ¿Qué aprendieron en listening, en la parte de listening? Ay, la semana pasada. ¿Alguna estrategia para listening? ¿Ve? Eso, eso es lo que está pasando. <risa> All right. Quiero que mejoren ustedes. Quiero que en este examen, ¿verdad? Que es el TOEFL. Quiero que ustedes saquen un, un 7, un 8, un 9, un 10. ¿Por qué no? Claro que sí se puede. Okay. ¿Qué aprendieron la semana pasada? Listening. What did you learn? Note taking. Note taking. Very good. That's very important. Uh -huh. And what's, what strategies? What is something that you can implement for note taking? Using symbols. Using symbols, using codes, a shorthand note taking. Okay. You can do the cluster, you can do the main idea section. Okay. Very good. What else did you learn? What type of questions are going to be in the listening section? What type of questions are we going to have in the listening section? Just purpose and content. Very good. Just Purpose and just contents questions. Okay. Details questions. I'm sorry, repeat. Uh, details. Detail questions. questions. Yes, definitely. Uh -huh. The listening section is going to give you detailed questions. What is an example of a detailed question? For example, a detailed question talks about what? Detailed question talks about what? What is an example of a detailed question? Uh, data, uh, uh -huh. numbers. Exactly, numbers, dates, or data. Uh, maybe a name of a person. A name of a person, yes. Uh-huh, what else? A location. 
Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. So practice the strategies. Para eso estamos aquí. Okay. Estamos aquí para aprender estrategias para ayudarme en el examen. Okay. No solamente para practicar, porque si practican sin estrategias, si, va, se van a quedar en el mismo nivel. Okay. Pero si par, practican con estrategias, con herramientas, entonces sí van a mejorar. Okay. All right, let's go to speaking today. Okay. Let's go to the speaking section today. Eh, yo les recomiendo, eh, algunos no han estado aquí todas las clases, entonces yo les recomiendo que vean los videos. Okay. Que le den un overview a los videos. Están en YouTube, están en nuestra lista de reproducción en YouTube. Ahí está, para eso está eso. Para que ustedes puedan ver los videos, ¿ok? Les estoy dando estrategias, técnicas, eh, tipo de preguntas, eh, cómo contestar, ¿ok? Les estoy dando herramientas para que vayan allí y mejoren. Ok, eh, let's go to the speaking section now, ¿ok? All right, the speaking section of the TOEFL, ¿ok? It's going to be two type of questions, basically. You can break it down and you can separate the speaking section in two type of questions, independent questions and content-based questions. We're going, we're going to learn exactly what are content-based questions, okay? Let's go first. Ah, something that is important, timing. Timing is the biggest problem. For, the, for this part of the test, okay? Eh, ya les voy a decir cuánto tiempo tienen para contestar, para escuchar, para prepararse, etc. But timing is going to be very important. This is a timing test, okay? Fluency, eh, this is from the information in the video. Este, esto viene de la, de, de la introducción de inglés corporativo de la plataforma. Fluency refers to speaking, fluency, obviamente, and natural speed, okay? So you have to speak fluency and natural speed. So do you have to speak very fast? No. Do you have to speak very slow? No, natural. The, the things that are going to, and this is from the video, grammar, vocabulary, and thought organization, yo lo, yo lo nombro así. Este es el nombre que yo le pongo, Thought Organization. Okay? Pero el video dice Development and Coherent. Okay? Para mí es lo mismo que decir como Thought Organization. Okay? All right. Very good. So these three things are very important for the speaking session. Okay? So lo, lo, lo más importante que pueden hacer acá es captar las estrategias para poder hablar fluent, okay? So yo, yo me voy a enfocar acá. No le puedo dar lección de gramática, no le puedo dar lección de vocabulario, but I will focus here, okay? We're going to focus here in this section, thought organization and develop and coherent ideas. All right, let's go to the next slide, okay? Any questions, okay? All right. Uh, personal opinion. Perdón, I, I made a mistake there. Se me olvidó la A-N. Personal opinion. Okay. Uh, personal opinion questions, right? Uh, this is very simple. Se le llaman también independent questions. It's your own idea. What you think. Okay. What you think, your experience, your ideas, it's you. Okay. Aquí no hay Pregunta correcta o pregunta mala, ¿verdad? No importa, porque aquí viene de tu ideas, your experience, your opinion, okay? So there is no right or wrong answer, right? You can give your opinion, right? No, no te están midiendo tu opinión, no están validando tu opinión, okay? So for example, a question like this can be, Uh, who is the most influential, influential person in your life, okay? Who is the most influential person in your life? It's, a, it's an example of a question. 
right? Eh, the test is going to give you certain time. Ya vamos a ver el tiempo específicamente. Pero te va a dar un tiempo para pensar la pregunta y, y, y hablar. Okay? Remember, you have to record your voice in the speaking section. Who is the most influential person in your life? Okay? Eh, this section is all about your ideas, your experience, your opinion. Okay? Aquí no hay right or wrong answer. It's all about what you want to say. For example, if you want to say the most influential person is my cat. <laughs> the most influential person in my life is my, my dad. The most influential person in my life is uh, the president. <laughs> Whoever. You can say whatever you want. Okay? No están midiendo eso. La nota no viene de eso. Viene de fluency. Okay. Uh, tip. Use thought organization and linking words. Ya vamos a explorar estas dos cosas. Right? Porque estas son las herramientas que yo les quiero dar. The strategy. Okay? For you to improve in your speaking. Okay? No solamente en el examen, sino cuando están practicando, preparándose para el examen. Okay? I want you to use thought organization and linking words. Uh, we're going to look at that today. Okay? Uh, linking words. Para los que quieren saber ya inmediatamente. What is linking words? Linking words are words or phrases that introduce ideas. Okay? They're going, to they're going to introduce my different opinions and ideas. Okay? I can use linking words to emphasize something. I can use linking words uh, when I want to add another idea. I can use linking words to contrast, right? Maybe, yeah, I like pizza, but on the other hand, I like hamburgers also, okay? Contrast, okay? And finally, we have linking words to put things in order, okay? Maybe when you're giving instructions to someone or when you're organizing your ideas and you want to say, for me, this is the most important thing. Next, secondly, finally, okay? All right, so ya vamos a explorar esto. Vamos a pasar esta semana aprendiendo linking words, okay? Because this is very important for you. You're, you're going to see why in a minute. Okay, time limits. You have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak into the microphone. Okay? I'm going to repeat that. Uh, remember, the question is. The test, right? El, el, el test sigue continuamente. Ustedes no pueden detener el examen. Okay? So the test says question number five. Listen to the question. Blah, 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 blah. You have 15 seconds to prepare your response. Ready? Beep. Y sale un beep. De ese momento está el reloj ticking. 15 seconds to prepare your response. And then 45 seconds to answer. You have to speak on the phone, on the microphone. Okay? Van a grabar su voz. Si están tomando la versión del examen, esta IBT. All right? Listen to the beep. Beep! Right? Suena así cuando, cuando ustedes van a dejar un mensaje en, en el voicemail. Okay? All right. My recommendations, number one, right? The number one rule. Do not stay silent, right? No se pongan nerviosos. Beep. ¿Y qué digo? ¿Qué hago? What do I say? I don't know, right? Don't stay silent, right? Es mejor hablar algo que dejar la respuesta en blanco, okay? So number one rule, don't stay silent. Always speak something, okay? All right. Obviamente, ¿verdad? Si se quedan callados, la nota va a ser más baja. Okay. Um, another thing. Sorry, I forgot. You can take notes during the test. This speaking test. For example, the, the question. Who is the most influential person in your life? Okay. 
I have 15 seconds to use paper and pencil. Es decir, tomar notas de lo que voy a decir. Okay? So you have 15 seconds to take notes and organize your ideas. Okay? Y eso vamos a aprender a hacer esta, esta semana. Okay? Very good. All right. Type of questions that you can get. The personal questions. Remember, estamos hablando de personal questions. Uh, do you agree or disagree? Okay? Ese tipo de preguntas. Do you agree or disagree? What is your opinion about? Right? Es otro tipo de frase, de pregunta. Why do you like blah, blah, blah? Or it can be something subjective, personal. Tell me about yourself. Or what is your favorite blank and why? Okay. So these are the type of questions, personal questions. Okay. All right. So aquí ustedes tienen que hablar de ustedes, your personal opinion. All right. Questions. Questions for now? So far, no. Okay. All right. Excellent. Let's go to questions number two. Le dije que eran dos tipos de preguntas, right? So the first one is personal questions, right? Uh, those are your opinions. Let's go to ah something else I want to tell you about uh, just for for any questions, personal or the other ones we're going to see. Use complete thoughts, complete ideas in sentences. Okay. Um, also, use some kind of thought organization. Eh, ya vamos a ver diferente. Yo les voy a enseñar dos ahora. Um, eh, skills. Two different job aids that you can use. Two different ways to organize your ideas. Um, and use linking words. Okay? Use linking words. So, so these are recommendations that I'm giving you. Okay. The next question se llama integrated questions. Okay? Algunas personas le dicen integrated questions. Um, Ya van a ver por qué. Okay. So, integrated questions. What does integrated mean? ¿Qué significa integrated? What does that mean? What is the meaning of that? What do you think? Integrated. What do you think is the meaning? Involved. Involved? Mm -hmm. Involved. Involucrado. No. Involved? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 What else? Somebody Pero else has another. Uh -huh. What does it mean in English? What do you think it means? What is the concept? The idea? In hmm? Integrar. Uh -huh. Integrated questions. ¿Qué significa? When you have to condensate some meanings in just one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Similar. Okay. There will be some questions that are based on reading passages or maybe a lecture you have to listen to. Okay. So, también van a tener que usar reading skills and listening skills. Okay. So, van a usar reading, listening, ¿Qué más van a usar? Comprehension. Eh, comprehension sería dentro de, 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 de listening. Sería como un subskill de listening. Um, do you have to take notes? Yes, right? So, entonces vas a estar haciendo writing también. You're going to write your notes. Mm -hmm. and, and your thought organization, right? And then finally, what are you going to do? You're going to speak and record your voice. So, ¿qué van a hacer? Everything. You're going to do everything. You're going to be reading, speaking, writing, listening. Solo para contestar una pregunta. In the speaking section. Okay? So, eso es lo que quiere decir integrated. That you're going to use everything to answer the questions, to complete the task, basically. Eso significa integrated. Ya van a ver una foto que le va a dar otra idea. 
uh, you will have to use note skills plus add your thought organization. Uh, you have to summarize what you heard and, and read, okay? So let me give you an example. Uh, here's a picture. Look at this picture here. You have speaking, listening, writing, and reading, right? Van a estar haciendo todo. Así. Van a estar mezclando todo yo solo, okay? To be able to answer the question. All right? So, my tips that I can give you, recommendations, don't speak too much on one topic if you require to talk about three topics. For example, uh, some questions they're going to ask you, give us three ideas. Okay? Uh, you have 45 seconds to answer the question. So I have 45 seconds, right? I have to give them three ideas. No voy a pasar 40 segundos solo en un tema y los últimos cinco segundos en, un, en otro tema, ¿verdad? No voy a tener tiempo, okay? So you have to organize your time. Remember that you have a time limit, okay? Um, to practice, right? Como vamos a estar practicando en la casa, you can use your cell phone clock, you can record your voice. Eso sí les recomiendo hacer, que graben su voz en su teléfono. Okay? Si van a estar practicando esta parte, tienen que estar practicando, ¿verdad? Tomando lo que aprendimos aquí y practicando. Entonces, graben su voz. Okay? And use linking words. Okay? Use linking words. So, si están practicando en la casa y no están haciendo esto, right? No están perdiendo el tiempo, no voy a decir eso. <laughs> Pero no le están sacando el provecho al 100%. Okay? So, record your voice, time yourself, use linking words, and use thought organization. Okay? Preguntas, questions for this? ¿Qué significa integrated? Do you understand? When you sum a element plus another, plus another, and so mm -hmm. on. Yes, correct. You're using different skills to, to complete one task. In this case, reading, listening, writing, and speaking. Okay, you have to use all skills in English to pass this portion of the test. Okay. Integrated means using everything. You have to be able to use everything. Type of questions, um, the, the integrated questions, right? Type of questions. Pueden ser lectures, right? Ustedes ya escucharon algunas lectures en la parte de listening que hicimos la semana pasada. Uh, it can be reading articles, reading passages, okay? Como hicimos la primera semana en la parte de reading. It can be people speaking, for example, a student and a professor, okay? Okay. Um, it can be one speaker, two speakers, three speakers. And the listening questions will usually ask you to summarize. Okay. ¿Qué quiere decir summarize? What is summarize? Summarize means take all that information, right, that you heard and Repeat it, but in a short, short space, okay? For example, think about summary like the books. ¿No han visto los libros que hacen una librería en la ceiba? Tienen libros, ¿verdad? Atrás del libro, te dice así en corto lo que es, de qué se trata. Eso es, eso es lo que tienen que hacer ustedes, summarize, okay? Tips, take notes. Okay, for example, if this part of the test is going to say, listen to this lecture, entonces you should be taking notes, así como hicieron en la parte de listening. Okay. Uh, reading articles, también pueden tomar una nota. You can take a short note about that. Okay. Por eso les dije que la parte de note taking, esa habilidad de note taking, ese skill, lo tienen que ustedes manejar, ¿verdad? Muy bien. All right, uh, strategies for thought organization, okay? So now we're gonna go to the section, right? This is the section where I'm gonna give you some strategies. 
okay? How can I organize my thoughts, teacher, right? They ask me a question, for example, the questions. Who is the most influential person in your life? Puede ser una pregunta, sí, similar. Personal question, okay? So how would you answer? You have 15 seconds to prepare, okay? So we need to have an a strategy. We need to have some kind of order. All right. So here's what I'm going to give you. Ah, before that, remember linking words. We're going to use linking words. Ya vamos a ver cómo cómo las podemos usar. Um, for example, uh, some linking words that you can use: first, second, third, finally. Me gusta usar esa. Esa es así en orden. For example, they ask me, right? Uh, do you agree or disagree? Yes, I agree. Why? Because number one, first, secondly, thirdly, and finally. I'm giving my opinions, right? So I like using these. Um, at this time, following, previously, before, subsequently, above all, last but not least, least last but not least. First and foremost, okay? Primero y con más importancia, first and foremost, okay? So, no todas estas las tienen que usar, obviamente no. Pero se tienen que saber algunas, unas guías por lo menos, okay? Uh, for example, when you're additionally, when you're adding ideas, es decir, pues, también tengo este punto de vista adicionalmente. Additionally, furthermore, also, uh, two, no, no, no mucho se usa. As well as, along with, besides. Esa sí lo uso bastante, besides. In addition, moreover. In addition to this, apart from this. Okay? Do you understand? You need to have a few linking words, okay? Uh, contrast. Uh, this one is when you're giving two different points of views, okay? Hay dos puntos de vista que tú tienes que formular, okay? For example, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? ¿Cuáles son tus fortalezas y debilidades? What are your strengths and weakness? Okay? So for that one, for that question, you have to contrast. Voy a decir, aquí está lo positivo y aquí está lo negativo. Entonces, I have to contrast. You say, nevertheless, on the other hand, this one's very important. Yo uso mucho esta. On the other hand. Okay. In spite of. También esta. In contrast to. Okay. All right. So, nevertheless. A pesar que. Nevertheless. All right. So, you don't have to know all of them. Right, but you have to know a few that you can use very well. Okay, no es memorizarte todo esto, sino usar una diez que tú te puedas usar bien. Okay, linking words. All right, why linking words? Porque es necesario usar usar linking words. Why do you think is is important? To use LinkedIn. Because we make a connection between our ideas mm -hmm. and yeah. also we provide a better expression. Perfect. When we are trying to explain something. Exactly. You said it perfectly. We're trying to uh, follow ideas, we're trying to express ideas, organize ideas, right? Definitely. Para eso es. Okay. That's why we use LinkedIn words in writing and speaking. Uh, look, think about linking words like this, right? Eh, ¿Han manejado un carro de, de cambio? ¿Algún momento? No. Yes. ¿Qué tienes que hacer antes de poner el cambio? What do you have to do before? Meter clutch. Yes, the clutch. The clutch, exactly, okay? When you go from first idea to second idea, what do you have to do is put the clutch. What is the clutch? The linking word. That's the clutch. Okay? It helps you uh, transition from one idea to the next idea. Okay? Imagínate tratar de hablar 
like all over, like voy a empezar con el tercer punto, después sigo con el segundo, y voy a estar jumping around, right? No, no, no. Follow the order, okay? First, right? And let's, let's go back, let's use the linking words. Oops, sorry. You can use this ones, right? First, secondly, third, finally, okay? You only have 45 seconds to speak, so you might not get a chance to use all of them, but you have to be ready. Yes, so the linking words are like the clutch. All right, so uh, let's do a little exercise. Vamos a hacer una prueba ahora y después una prueba después de la estrategia que les voy a dar. Um, pero hagamos una prueba ahorita. Okay, les voy a dar 15 seconds. I'm going to give you 15 seconds to prepare for the following question. Okay, all right. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Okay, listos, what is the statement? Should elder, elder people, do you understand what elder people is? Yeah. yeah. Elder people is right, alguien anciano, ¿verdad? De la tercera edad avanzada. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Le voy a dar solo 15 segundos. Should elder people be allowed to drive alone? Please prepare your answers after the beep. You have 15 seconds to prepare your answer. Ready? Beep. Okay, stop, finish. Ese es el tiempo que le van a dar para preparar su respuesta. Okay, so you have to improve, right? All right, very good. Who's ready? Who can answer this? All right, and I'm going to use my phone here, right? Uh, I'm going to give you exactly 45 seconds to answer this. Así como te dan en el examen, 45 seconds to answer this. All right, who's ready? Who wants to try it? I'm going to give you 45. I want to seconds. try. Okay. All right. So, así el examen dice lo siguiente. Uh, you have 45 seconds to answer the question. Please answer the question after the beep. Beep. I'm sorry, I was waiting for you to tell me. All right, I I absolutely agree about um, having or allowing elder people to drive by themselves because you know, on those stages, uh, when, uh, when, when they are old, they are definitely needing uh, to feel confident about things they can do on their own. Uh, That's it. Finish. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you another opportunity, right? Because you were not ready. Okay. But that is, that's exactly what the test says. It says, answer the question after the beep. Beep. <laughs> okay. So, le vamos a dar otra oportunidad a ella. All right. You ready? Yes. All right. The question, ya la vieron. No la voy a repetir porque el examen no la va a repetir. Okay. Please answer the question after the beep. I absolutely agree with the fact uh, about allowing elder people driving by themselves because mm -hmm. it is very important for them to feel confident about doing their own things. Um, having the motivation to do things by themselves uh, also is important because of their mental uh, health. 
not only being independent is uh, good for them mentally, but also uh, because of the movements that they will have to do as part of their exercise. It will help uh, to gain more memory, especially if they have difficulties um, with uh, struggling with um, issues or illnesses um, in Okay, all right, good job, good job. All right, good job. You have to time yourself, right? That's good, okay, excellent, good job. Okay, I think, right, and you, we're going to do a practice test here, that there is a clock, right? Hay un, hay un reloj en lo que tú estás grabando tu voz, so that you can see how much time you have, okay? So don't worry about the time in the see they oh, no puedo ver el tiempo okay but in the test you are going to see the, the time there okay very good very good how did she do i think she did it very well okay uh, did you use linking words yes i was trying to remember some of the linking words mm -hmm. especially i was trying to incorporate new linking words mm -hmm. like new to me of course um yeah. But obviously, since I was uh, kind of trying to mm -hmm. keep up with the time, I was not really <laughs> you know, doing the best on using new words. But I think that um, this is a good practice. Yes, this is this is exactly what the test is. OK, very good. I think she did very good. Uh, uh, like I said, right, you don't have to know all the linking words. Yes get used to using a few, a few of them, right? Acostumbrese a usar unas cuantas, right? Whatever you feel comfortable with, right? Eh, escuché algunas, you said first, you said also. Um, si hubiera cerrado allí, hubiera dicho finally, right? Right, si hubiera yeah. visto el tiempo, mm -hmm. ah, I have 10 seconds left, okay? And finally, blah, 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 <laughs> right? Yeah. So that's a good, that's a good way. Um, quiero, quiero poner, a, quiero que ustedes vean la importancia de este examen. Eh, eh, I went to an immigration lawyer today, right? Because I thought about applying for Canada, right? I wanted to get a, a, a maybe a visa for Canada. And you know what he said? This is what he said. Canada requires the TOEFL or the IELTS for you to apply. Imagínense eso lo que me, me pregunta. Este mismo examen que estamos haciendo ahorita. Lo piden eh, el TOEFL o hay otro examen que se llama el IELTS, que es eh, el, el mismo examen como este, solamente equivalente en Inglaterra, England, British, pero es casi similar a este. Eh, te pide Canadá este examen o el otro. Right? Para que ustedes vean la importancia, ¿verdad? De, de lo que están haciendo. All right. Very good. So, eh, let's go and look at some strategies that we're going to do. Right? Quiero también a ver si nos da tiempo para ver un examen. Solo verlo, por lo menos. Um, okay. Check it out. This is my tip for you. Right? This is my recommendation. That you have something like this. Right? You don't have to copy mine, but that you have something like this. Right? And obviously, no le va a dar 15 segundos, no le va a dar tiempo para llenar todo esto, right? Pero no tienen que llenar todo esto, sino que hacer un cuadrito de cuatro o de tres. The topic we're talking about, elderly people, right? Driving alone. That was the topic, right? Main idea, right? I think, uh, Alejandra, right? She was saying, I think, right? Elderly people should be allowed to drive alone, okay? Ese es el punto de vista de ella. So that's the main idea. That's her main idea, right? Now, ella no va a tener tiempo de escribir todo esto, right? Pero no es necesario porque esto está ya en su cabeza, right? It's already in her mind, right, Alejandra? You already know. Estoy en contra o estoy a favor de, okay? So yeah. Alejandra, Alejandra ya sabe esto. Like she already has this in her head, right? So you don't have to write this, right? No recomiendo que escriban esto, okay? Um, linking words, right? Vamos a escribir algunas linking words aquí. For example, you can say, uh, first of all, okay? 
Uh, secondly, Secondly, ¿cuál otra linking word? Um, Alejandra usó also. And finally. All right. So, tienen que ser, tienen que ser la, la, las que ustedes manejan mejor, right? Las más fáciles. Right. So, now, Alejandra, do you have to do all this? No, porque ella ya va a estar tan acostumbrada a usar estas linking words que no va a tener que escribir las linking words. All right. So, the idea, yes, right? Alejandra, what was your first reason? Why should elderly people be allowed to drive alone? What was your first reason? I see, short, what was your for, first reason? Um, because it's good for the um, mental health, I think I said. Okay, good for their mental health. Okay. What else, number two? Uh, because it is good for uh, exercising and memory. Okay, very good. Number three also. I think that was about it. Okay, did you have a final idea? Um. Oh, because I said that they, um, it's important for them to be independent. Okay, very good. Independence. El principio de independence. Okay, very good. So uh, if you don't have number three, that's okay, Alejandra, right? But you have three good ideas here, okay? So what you can do is, Alejandra, is spend 15 seconds on each, right? ¿Cuánto tiempo tengo? 15 seconds, 15 seconds, 15 seconds, right? and finish, okay? So Alejandra, I'm going to give you uh, an, uh, an opportunity here, right? Si quieres, sigue este mismo flow, este mismo chart que tú hiciste acá, to answer the question, okay? Te vamos a dar otra oportunidad, ready? All right, remember uh, what the test says, right? Yeah. Please, ready, okay? Please answer your question after the beep. I think elderly people should be allowed to drive alone, first of all, because mm -hmm. it's good for their mental health. Secondly, because it's good for their exercise and memory retention. And also I believe it will be good um, because they will be um, meeting other people. And finally, because it will uh, gain, it will be good, I'm sorry, for their independence. Excellent. Vieron la diferencia, right? Sounds much better. It's flowing, right? To the point. And Alejandra, yeah. sorry que mi teléfono se, se trabó. <laughs> so I couldn't get the time. Okay? I couldn't get the time. But I think you did and really think, good. And I think it was less than, like, I don't know. I, I don't think it was mm -hmm. 45. Seconds, ah, okay. Right? No, no, Perhaps. no, it wasn't 45 seconds. Maybe, I think, maybe 30 seconds. Okay, but, but that's all right, right? Uh, do you see? This can help you. Okay. Now, obviamente, eh, ella no escribiera todo esto, right? She's not going to write this. She's not going to write this. But she's not going to write this. The 15 seconds and no escribir eso. Pero ¿qué va a escribir? The main ideas. Okay. The main ideas, right? She's going to write this. Posiblemente la linking word no la tenés que escribir, right? Because ya, 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 la, ya las podés usar, right? So... You don't have to do that. But the ideas, that is important. Okay? And in your notes, esos 15 segundos que te dan para prepararte, this is what you have to write. Okay? Now, obviously, no tienen que hacer este cuadrito. Este cuadrito yo lo hice para ustedes, right? But you have to write the main ideas. Right, Alejandra? Uh, also, notice... Yeah. I didn't write a complete sentence, right? For the main idea, no. I just wrote like a word, right? Simplemente puse ahí una palabrita, right? I didn't write a big sentence, right? Or just something short, right? This is what you guys have to do on the test. This is how you're going to prepare your recording, tu grabación, right? The, the, the speaking part, okay? All right. 
So, eh, aquí hay una. All right? Esta es una forma de verla. Aquí hay otra. Mira. Perdón, voy a borrar todo eso. All right. This is another way of looking at it. It's the same idea. The same thing. Right? Um, just different ways of looking at it. Do you see here? You put your main idea. Main idea here. Linking word, esa ya la podemos usar, ya, la, ya sabemos, right? First, also, next, besides, finally. And you put your detail here. Supporting detail, right? Detalle que apoya la main idea, right? So supporting detail one, supporting detail two, supporting detail three. Right, and the supporting detail number three can be the last idea, so we can say finally, right? right. Okay, so this is uh, another way of looking at the same thing, okay? Cualquiera de los dos que les ayude, whatever works for you, okay? All right, let's go to a test. Let me see if we can show you, if I can show you a test. Hold on. Well done, sorry. Okay, ya lo encontré, I'm sorry. I have it, but I don't know why it was not working. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example. This is, that's gonna be a, a practice test. Okay, eh, pueden ver este, Este test que está acá, dice question number one. Can you see it? Yes. Uh, hold on. Let me put the audio so that you guys can listen. Okay. Pueden ver, dice question number one. Okay. So, sorry, este tiene eh, escrito ahí en chino, pero don't worry about it. The test is the same. All right. All right. So, let's listen to the test. In this question, you will be asked to give your opinion about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak. Okay, escucharon esas instrucciones que dio el examen, right? You have 15 seconds to prepare, right? All right, the question, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Children should receive money for, for doing household tasks such as cleaning. Use a specific example and details to support your answers, okay? So this is very important, right? You're going to have your main idea statement followed by details. Number two. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Children should receive money for doing household tasks such as cleaning. Use specific examples and details to support your opinion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. All right, so in este momento deberían estar haciendo la, la, la note taking, right? Organizing ideas, thought organization, linking words. Please begin speaking after the beep. Okay, so obviously in this section, you guys can see the time, right? Eso es lo que te estaba diciendo Alejandra, ¿verdad? Puede ver el tiempo. You can see the time, how much time you have to answer the question, right? So you can look at your notes and answer.
Number 3. In this question, you will read a short passage about a campus situation and then listen to a talk on the same topic. Okay, so uh, question number one was a personal question, right? Question number two is going to be uh, a listening question. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Read a student letter in the campus newspaper. You will have 50 seconds to read the letter. Begin reading now. Ah, ok, so en esta vamos a leer y escuchar. So look, you have 45 seconds to do the, the, the reading section. Uh, you, it's important that you take notes too for the reading section. Now listen to two students discussing the letter. Did you see this, Jim? What do you think about her idea? I think it'd be great. It'd make things much less expensive. Because our campus is located outside the city, if you can't get a friend with a car to give you a ride, there's no other way to get to the airport. And your only choice is to take a taxi. I know. I've had to take a taxi before, and it's pretty expensive. Yeah, like $30 or $40, which is a lot, especially for students. Yeah, definitely. And I think it would work, what she's suggesting. I mean, there's less need for buses on campus during that time to take students between the buildings. You mean because classes are over then? Yeah, exactly. There might be some final exams still going on, but regular classes won't be meeting. There are much fewer students left on campus, and they don't need to get around campus that often. Yeah, I, I guess they're just making occasional trips to take exams or go to the library or gym or whatever. Right. It shouldn't cause any problem for anyone who still needs to get around campus. The man expresses his opinion about the proposal described in the letter. Briefly summarize the proposal, then state his opinion about the proposal and explain the reasons he gives for holding that opinion. Okay, so in this type of question, it's not your opinion, right? Aquí la opinión de ustedes no importa. La opinión de la persona que está hablando. Okay, all right, and of course... Please prepare your answer after the beep. There you go, right? So you have 30 seconds to answer this question. All right, I'm going to stop right here uh, just because the time okay so tomorrow i promise that we'll look at more tests right so que deberían estar haciendo ahorita a eh, look at the linking words and look at the thought organization structure that i showed you okay and try to practice recording your voice and practice uh, using the clock the time okay all right questions No, oh, thank you, teacher. All right, very good, guys. So, hey, este es el examen, right? No lo podemos cambiar, solo nos podemos adaptar. All right, so study, prepare for the test. Use the strategies, las estrategias es lo que nos va a ayudar a salir adelante, right? No solo practicar, practicar eso no, eso es importante, pero es limitado. Estrategias más la práctica, ahí estamos, ahí está la clave. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow then. Take care, okay? Okay, you do the same. Thank Thanks. you. All right. Thank you. Bye.